Well, the Celtics certainly played with a lot of passion last year. They got off to a start that few thought they would achieve, but even playing with passion can't cover up the holes in the roster. The Lakers trail, and Doris Burke has something for us. Hey, Doris. Hi, Kevin. When former college coach Brad Stevens came in to coach the Boston Celtics, some worried that he'd have a tough time winning over headstrong point guard Rajon Rondo, but the two hit it off. Rondo said they'd become best friends, adding, we talk every day, we laugh and joke. He has my full support. I'm behind him 100%. Kevin? Rondo keeping an open mind and making himself accountable to Stevens' vision, Doris. Thanks. Bradley dishes to Rondo. Green up on top, defended by Lynn. Six on the shot clock. Here's pass. The shot is no good. And the Lakers going the other way now. Jeremy Lin, as you would expect, focused on addressing his weaknesses, trying to get better with his left hand, passing, dribbling, and finishing. Even his mental approach, training himself to expect success and to keep that next play mentality. Boy, that one is a shot he should make because the defender nowhere around him, he usually knocks that one down. Bradley drives in, pass, passes to Bradley. Launches a three, and that one's good. Bradley's got the first points to start out the third quarter for the Celtics. And see, the other thing that Lynn has worked to improve is his defense. Yeah, well, you look at his rate of steals and blocks, it's, it's pretty good. And then, you know, the biggest thing for him is just staying in front of his man. That's so tough to do these days in the NBA with so many lightning-fast point guards. But Lynn has worked hard to improve in that area, and uh, I, I think it's really paid off for him. The Lakers making a switch here. Young's checked in. Lakers trailed by four. Outside, Lynn. First minute and a half of basketball here in the third quarter. And the basket by Johnson. Boston's gone three of five from beyond the arc so far tonight. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. Jeremy Lin is a bit of a scoring guard, scoring point guard. He's best with the ball in his hands, but not necessarily an elite scorer of playmaker. He's trying to broaden out his game so he can play off the ball as well. Here's Bass. He's covered closely. Sollinger is screen on Lynn. Dishes it to Bass. He passes to Brant. Pocket six. They double him with Boozer. Here's Bass. And there are the Celtics with another basket. And to become better playing off the ball, Jeremy Lin has to improve as a spot-up shooter. He's actually been shooting better off the dribble, but the catch-and-shoot is something he'll continue to work on. Young's shot is off. Rebounds are split just about down the middle in this game, Clark. I'd venture to guess whichever team is able to maintain that energy level on the glass will have the upper hand the rest of the way. Now here's Sullinger looking for his first basket still in this one. Count that one. And the Celtics lead by six. And Jeremy Lin working with the shooting coach hard to develop his outside shot. Yeah, he's actually tweaked his release to get the ball off more quickly on his way up. He's still below average from long range, but you know he's going to put the work in. Major defensive laps right there. And he's not a player you can leave open for a jump shot. You've got to stay attached to him. They're lucky he couldn't punish them for it. Rondo kicks to Sollinger. Missed. And that's going to do it for the third quarter. Celtics lead by six. Live from the Staples Center, you're watching 2K Sports. Welcome you back to more NBA action. Players looking hydrated and plenty of Gatorade to help them get their job done tonight. Boston leading by six. 
Now here's Bradley. Outside Rondo, Bradley. Shot clock at six. He kicks it to Sullinger. Offensive rebound. Passes shot, good. Pass has got the first basket as we get going in the fourth for the Celtics. Well, you gotta like the way they've come out here in the second half. They're starting to knock down shots with regularity. Yeah, and any team will take that. I mean, if you're shooting over 50%, it usually means you're moving the ball, you're getting good looks on the shots you want. And I think they just gotta continue to play smart and play together just like they've been doing to keep the lead. Here's Rondo after Ed Davis's score. Sellinger dishes to Bradley. Rondo kicks to Bradley. The feed now to Sellinger. Kills there. The fader. And it's Lynn with the rebound. Lakers trailed by six. One forty-nine left in the fourth quarter. Sellinger brings the double team. Then the pass to Kobe. Jared Sellinger pulls it in. Sellinger's got his third rebound tonight. Bradley with the ball. The drive by Rondo. Right side, Rondo. Can't get it to go. Good work defensively by Kobe. Lakers shooting a lackluster 38% for the game, struggling so far. Left side, Kobe. Kobe draws the up. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. Good game for Kobe. He's got eight points, and he's getting it done on the glass, too. Now you're right, Clark. He's done some really nice work inside. First free throw is good, and that brings them within five. Carlos Boozer's checked in for Ed Davis. And so he makes both from the line. This lead suddenly not looking quite so comfortable after those two free throws. Well done. Now a timeout called by Boston. They're ahead by four. There is a minute left to play in the final quarter. Catch up with Doris from the sideline. Thank you, Kevin. Brad Stevens had some words for his team over the break. With a deficit as we approach the final buzzer, he stayed up deep, saying, listen, we can battle back, fellas. Just stay with me. I need all out effort here, and we can bring it home. Fellas? All right, Doris, thank you very much. Second minute off the clock now in the fourth. Rondo dishes to Bats. Sullinger with a screen for Rondo. Smooth as silk on the finger roll. Well, you hate to see a guy suffer through a game like this, but his team is winning. Time is definitely not on their side at this point. Yeah, they need a quick buck. Kobe attacking. And they go to the intentional foul. Fourth quarter of play, and we're about two and a half minutes through it right now. Green against Johnson. And Lynn comes to help. Rondo kicks to Green. Rondo. Pass with a screen for Rondo. And so they foul intentionally. It's the first one, and that makes it a seven-point lead. So Boston going with almost an entire new group. Kelly Olynyk's checked in for Jared Sullinger. Wallace comes in for Brandon Bass. Young's checked in for Jeff Green. And it's Thornton in for Avery Bradley.
He's off on the free throw, unable to get that second one to drop in. And this game is finally getting away from them. Yep, it has gotten away. There's not really anything they can do now. You know, what an advantage he brings to this offense, guys. I mean, being able to drain the three ball, that really can spread a defense and extend the defense as well. And now an intentional foul. They need the ball back as soon as possible. Smart foul there. You've got to try to extend the game. Yeah, it's still close, but they're fighting that clock as much as the score right now. Here's the first, and that puts them up by five. And the Celtics making a change here. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a six-point ball game. No mistakes there. I think you can close the book on this one, guys. It's done. And the Lakers call time here. They're losing by six. We've got 13 seconds left to play here in the fourth. Guys, what do you think? Well, there's a little bit of time here to play with, so a three and a quick foul can make things interesting. Very much so. Either way you cut it, they're going to need a pair of threes and some help at the other end as well. Here's Lynn. Misses the three, and he used the pump fake well there, but he couldn't capitalize. And that's an intentional foul. Good on the first, and that makes it a seven-point lead. Celtics making a switch here. So he gets them both, and it's an eight-point game. And the Lakers call time here. They're behind by eight. Eight seconds left in the fourth quarter. What's your take, guys? Well, this one's out of reach, so I'm not sure why they're calling the timeout here. Maybe just to work on something to get out of bounds play. Well, they might as well talk about what movie they want to see or what they want to surf on the Internet because this one's done, boy. We're in the final quarter of play here, three minutes in, and here's Young from the arc. So it's the Boston Celtics with the W. They pulled off this win, Clark, with respectable performances on both ends of the floor. Yeah, I think it was just really a nice overall effort, Kevin. Thanks for tuning in to the NBA on 2K Sports. For Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris, this is Kevin Hart. We'll see you next time. And now, our Jordan player of the game, Jared Sullinger. Reach out, touch space.